Well, what do we have here? <clears throat> it's been a while since I put up a video. And what you're looking at is a 1998 Jeep Cherokee. If you guys have seen any of my earlier videos, I have shown this before, but it was on the road then. And you can see why she's no longer on the road. Um, this has been replaced by a Jeep Commander with a V8 in it. I doubt I will ever get to derby that. But this thing is really rotted. As you can see, all the way along there, driver's side door, driver's door, yeah, driver's seat, is, the bolts are broken loose and it moves around. We'll have to weld that down to the floor. Uh, transmission sensor is bad, so you have to hot wire it. As the key ignition part won't work, I'll show you guys later. I don't feel like trying to start it up right now. Um, ooh. As you can see, we're on quite the incline here. The ignition's already tore up from trying to get it to start. Um, because we have this right here taken off, this shifter will shift right now without it running. So that's kind of a safety issue because it's a really loose shifter. You can be going like 60 mile an hour down the road and actually bump it into like neutral or worse, reverse. Uh, but the funny part is, this thing can't go over 55 miles per hour. It's got a bad wheel bearing. And the whole thing sound, feels like it's going to fall apart. Actually, four-wheel drive does work. I had to use four-wheel drive to get it where it is. So you guys can see the angle that that's on. Um... And the windshield was so dirty, I was actually hanging out the driver's door and coming down that hill, it's on like a like an angle like that. But this, my brother will probably be driving this, but of course I will be building it. And we're probably going to make it front wheel drive, which I will show you real quick before this video gets any more boring. The strut if I understand it right, that's what's holding the wheel on. This spring and strut are on the axle. So it's going to be really hard for this thing to lay over. Because of that four wheel drive axle. You can see that. So we're going to be running four wheel drive, but we're going to have to remove the drivetrain. And this just has a really really tough setup in the front you can just see everything um, and if the strut would get destroyed oh I hope you guys just saw that if the strut would get destroyed we could cut it out and literally just run the spring because they're separate it'll bounce around like heck but it'll It'll do the job. Um, another thing, we're running front wheel drive, is this back end has leaf springs. And it's known for when these things, they go up, but the frame doesn't bend, the leaf springs bend. So I really want to do some work under here. And if it does start getting wonkier, the axle gets ripped off, which I've seen. Those front wheels will be driving. I've also seen where the frames on these, how bad they are, they'll literally crack right down the center. And they'll drop and be catching in the mud. Just because that's how rusty they are by the time they finally get derby. This hatch doesn't even open. If you wanted to get in the trunk, you had to open up a door and reach over this 
seat into the trunk. But it does have a decent sized trunk. But the windows are small. Like we're gonna be climbing through the front windshield once the doors are welded shut. Uh, it's not that wide either. You can see that it's not very wide at all. Um, this thing will probably get gutted down. The dash will be out. Everything. Um, I'll have to talk to him see if he wants to leave this seat in. That'd be interesting. We do have a donut tire for it. This thing came with a donut tire. Um, I was disappointed. I had looked at another Jeep, but it has a full size tire as a spare. And then I have a buddy who's getting a GMC Envoy for free. And that would run in the same class as this. As long as it's got a V6. I'm assuming it's got a V6. And then. I have another vehicle I'm looking at that I'll be driving, so it'll be three of us in with minivans. And our brother really wants to build these. He wants to weld the doors shut and all that. And the show we actually want to run, we actually went and watched it the other day. And they were opening the doors on the minivans just to get in. So they were really underbuilt. The tires aren't too bad once we self tread them. See you guys, there's what I've been up to. Uh, we need to clear some brush back here. We need to cut that bush out because I think the envoy's going right here. Uh, it probably needs to go somewhere flat because it has rent a center rims on it. Or you can rent the rims and they need the rims back. I don't know what happened to the original rims. I don't know, one of those, he's getting it for free so don't ask questions, right? And they're giving him the title along with it. And the only thing they I was told all it needs is a tune up. I haven't seen it yet. I'll probably be the one to go get it and drive it home because he doesn't even have a, his license. So I'll probably have to go do that. Um, there's a chance I might be getting a free another one of these for free or for like a hundred bucks, possibly. I won't go into detail on that one. And there's also a Volvo that I keep talking about that I really want. So just stay tuned, guys. It's going to be a busy winter. Getting these things ready for 2022. I can't believe I'm saying that. We're getting ready for 2022. That lawnmower is getting ready for a second run. That one's getting ready for a first. And that one's going to need fixed for a second run. And that was just a parts one. And the Subaru, I need to go get parts for that this week. So that might be a video. Alright guys, we'll stay healthy. And keep on building them derby cars.